west Romania heading for the Marmaris uh, National Park which is about 20 kilometers in that direction. Uh, this is the start of it, uh, the forested areas of the mountains start here have just come from uh, Bari Mari or Bari Meri which is, I can't pronounce it again, uh, which is the major capital of the area. Stayed in a very nice hotel, chilled out, prepared myself for this particular part of the journey which is going to be tough. It's going to be really hilly. Uh, the roads are good though so far. The temperature is really hot, 32, and the temperature is not only high but it's also very dry so it's like Sicily with no sea. So you've got to be careful about dehydration. Well, I've just left the town of TG Lupus, T Lupus. Uh, and I'm now going, I've gone south, this is my maximum south I'm going to get, and now I'm just looped up to go up, back up to the Marmorous mountain range, which is up here. Um, and last night I had the local grappa, and I was drinking with the locals in the, in the bar, and it was, oh, again. We're in the, one of the Carpathian forests and I can guarantee you now there are bear here. This has the highest concentration of bear in Europe. 60% of the bears in Europe are in this forest. I'm in this very small northern Romanian village where I've just stayed at the hotel uh, and I'm the only one there and it was just empty and I had 
had the keys to the whole hotel. Here I am in uh, Cluj, as some people call it, or as the Romanians call it, it's actually Cluj Nafaka, uh, which is a north central Romanian town, and it's, it's pretty nice actually. It reminds me of sort of a equivalent to something like Leicester or Northampton. It's slightly deeper history here. Yeah. This was once a Roman town. Uh, there's some, quite some serious Roman remains here, which unfortunately I haven't got time to see because I need to move on. I've got four days to get back to uh, Budapest. Yeah, I didn't realise it actually, but uh, I'm currently cycling through Transylvania uh, and have been for the past day. Uh, so here we are, Transylvania. Where are the vampires? Uh, this is probably one of the biggest forests to come through. It's taken me uh, two days so far to get to, through here and I've got another half a day to go. So nearly three days of travelling through this forest, it's, it's pretty big and I'm doing 65 centi kilometres per day first day was 90 so yeah love the water troughs fantastic wood uh, and this is the height of the tourist season here and as you can see it's really busy <laughs> Red. That's the way I like it. Uh, so I'm going to do the bear grillies thing and have a bath and a wash and get some water on me and in me. And, uh, and believe you me, it's cold. <laughs> Later. Well, good morning. Uh, here I am, bright and early. It, a beautiful, 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 beautiful morning. Uh, I just got up. I got up about two hours ago, and it was misty. Really, really, just you could see a long way, and it was like really quite cold, uh, but but really beautiful. Uh, this is nice, and the air is beautiful, it's fresh. I, mean, I don't know where I am, I've got no mobile network, and even the GPS doesn't work particularly well. So, I'm in the middle of some national park and just south. East, no, southwest of Kaluja, uh, which I must come to again, which is absolutely unspoiled. And there's no tourism around here. Just no tourists at all. I mean, look at this. The mist is now being burnt off by the sun. It's going to be a hot day, you can tell. Even now it's getting hot. Uh, but this morning, very early, it was just like... Mm. This is towards the end of the holiday, actually, I'm having. And it's, this is the best bit. And I'm going to go to Hungary now. station at Cluj in Romania, getting the uh, 7 o'clock to 
Budapest, uh, which is a 13-hour journey. So I had a rush back to the hotel, and there was a festival on, and everything was priced out the planet. So, uh, bang goes my budget for Romania. <laughs> like that. Timing. And then, uh, so as I get to Budapest at 8, 9 o'clock tonight, and it's pretty knackered. Then I got to organise the accommodation and pick up the keys and stuff, so yeah. Look at this. Sun sunrise. But, interestingly enough, actually, you've got to close the door yourself at the old fashioned way. So, close the door, you're going to fall out. Well, here I am in Budapest. Uh, my final destination and check this out.